Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and this video is to cover the basics of CNC machines. If you've decided to buy a CNC machine or have just bought one, there's going to be some other stuff you're going to need to get. I've had a couple requests on my uh, other videos to provide some of this basic CNC information to help you get started and get more knowledgeable about what you're diving into. Uh, JC has mentioned uh, uh, requested a video uh, more basic information uh, pod has also done that so I found that that's really important basically you're gonna have to buy other stuff outside of your CNC machine particularly cutting tools then some measuring tools and some other things so I'm gonna talk about all that here I have provided links for all this stuff down below where I've gotten the stuff whether it's Amazon or other resources. I've also provided the discount codes when I could find them from other people's videos or from the stores. I want to give you all the resources that I have found so you can get started with less cost. Let's dive in. First and foremost is hearing protection. Now, I found pretty quickly that these little things don't cut it. You really need something much better because the amount of decibels that a router puts out is pretty loud so a good set of ear protection I got these at Lowe's for 25 bucks and they work exceptionally well especially with my hearing I uh, have significant hearing loss I have to wear hearing aids <laughs> so anything that loud actually hurts so I already had router bits I had uh, these guys and some round bits I got quite a few of these and these are all just high-speed steel bits I had them for a long time and I just jumped right in with these guys uh, particularly the quarter inch and you can see it's pretty chewed up uh, it worked fine on my router table but it does not work for a CNC router there's so much vibration going on in the machine and the cut was horrible and I quickly found out that these are worthless for this so I had to start doing some research on YouTube and I really fast found out that end mills are the way to go or spiral bits you can call them as I started to discover you need carving bits you need angled bits for uh, they call them V bits and engraving bits so the first thing you are gonna have to get are quarter inch end mills and there's two styles you've got an up bit and a down bit so what does an up bit and a down bit mean I'm gonna turn this the right way so you're looking at it the right way and I'm looking at it the right way the router turns clockwise so it's turning like that from up on top of the machine and as it's turning you can see the screw is going upward and what that's doing is that it's pulling your chips as it's doing a cut like that it's pulling the chips upwards and out and it's also ripping the edge of your material let me get my board here and it is going along like this and it is just ripping the edge of the material and you have to do a lot of sanding if you are going across the grain this way it does leaves this kind of stuff and kind of ruins a, a nice tight edge that you can create and I discovered about down bits now this is also turning clockwise and you can see the screw the thread actually goes in reverse it's actually pushing down so the difference is the up bit is pulling your chips up and ejecting them out of the wood as if it was like that it'd be pulling them up and ejecting them out this one is actually running your uh, chips down into your cut when you when you hear that that the chips are actually going down into the cut it kind of makes you oh well where does it go to you know there's these things are spinning so fast it's throwing the material out and the air from your router is also blowing it the only time I'll use an up bit now is to hog out material that means I just want to remove a bunch of material around my work but not at the work and I'll use a down bit for that now down bits you'll find are a little bit more expensive sometimes uh, just because they're a little more special and not as common as the up bits. Another one, I have not used this yet. This came in a set. This is a 90 degree and you can see it's a four flute. It's got four points on it. This, I'll 
I need to give this a whirl. It's a quarter inch 90 degree V-bit. And that's good for uh, carving out words and stuff like that. Like I said, I haven't used it yet. It just came as a set, but I will send you a link to this set. This is a Chinese set. The Spec Tool, spe, spe Tool, Spe Tool, whatever it is. Made in China, but they're made of carbide. I'll get to the carbide thing in a minute. Here's one of the other bits that came in that set. So this is a an engraving bit or a carving bit, and it has a point oh oh five radius on it. Very cool, dangerous looking guy. You know, it's it's an up bit, but these are meant for fine detail work. When you see really nice 2D, 2.5D images, you know, where they're kind of raised up and a lot of detail, this is the tool that they're using. It makes a lot of passes, and um, I'm still, haven't gotten to this yet, but uh, using this, but this is definitely a bit I am looking forward to trying out in some of my finer detail. I will be doing that next week because of this video. And this is an engraving bit. Now, if you look closely, <laughs> this thing came down to a needle point. You touch it and it hurts. And I ended up trying it out, and the very, 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 very tip of it broke. This gets turned at ultra high revolution, and it's meant for fine deal detail engraving. I'm not good enough with this guy yet, but it's uh, one that you'll want to have eventually anyway. Uh, Possibly. Another one that you'll have to do it get is for your spoil board resurfacing. On your router, as you're doing work, this is your, considered your work bed. When you, depending on it, on the spoil board, uh, you know, it could be twisted just slightly or warped slightly, or you're doing work on it, and as you've been doing work, you've been cutting into it like I have on mine. So you need a facing bit. And so this is a one and a half inch facing bit and this guy will come around and come back and forth like that and it'll just clean up the surface this particular one I chose because it'll also do a nice edge as well it's got a very squared off bit and I've already used this to face my spoil board twice so that's another uh, thing you'll need to get now one of the other uh, sets that you'll you'll want are V bits and roundovers, or rounding tools. So for V bits, a two flute. You got a sixty degree. That means the angle is sixty degrees like that. And a, this is a half inch ninety degree, half inch sixty degree. These are my primary bits for what they call V carve, and that's doing the engraving of the lettering. I, so these are my primary bits that I've been using. You can tell they've got a lot of uh, use to them. So these are really cheap. They're made of China, and <laughs> they've done quite well. I, I think this whole set costs 6 bucks. I don't expect them to hold up, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money at first. Like, you won't want to because you're going to wear out bits. You're going to break bits, and then the rounding bits. So I got a half-inch rounding bit, which I've used, a 3 8 rounding bit, and a quarter inch rounding bit here. So this set came with uh, six bits. This came independently. So I will put links down in the description of all these things. So this was like six or seven dollars for that set right there, and it was probably six dollars for that. Very inexpensive, actually working really well. So this is a set that I would recommend that you get. Now, you're going to want to eventually start getting into some finer detail. So this is the quarter inch uh, down bit. This is an eighth inch down bit. Now, I didn't buy these on Amazon. Uh, I was actually struggling to find an eighth inch down bit that I wanted. This is actually a much higher grade tool. came from Bits and Bits. I bought a set. This is like your woodworkers engraving set and it's got a 1 16th down bit and really fine there we go and that's that's uh, really really nice you can do some really nice detail with that uh, here's the other thing the engraving bit like that 
and I have not messed with this one yet. And then it's got the facing bit here, which I have not used. I still have the other one. So, I, but I wanted to get a really high quality set. These are all solid carbide and they are coated. Now the difference between high speed steel and carbide, carbide I definitely recommend once you get a little warmed up on your router to start making sure you get carbide tools. They last much, 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 much longer. They're gonna cost a lot more. This is about $29 for this quarter inch carbide round bit, uh, down bit. And um, so, you know, I treat it, treat it like, uh, it's like it's my, like it's my child. One of the other things I wanted to do in my detail work, uh, because it was a little bit challenging to find an eighth inch end mill. I didn't want to get the quarter inch price wise. So I bought the eighth inch end mills as a set. And I don't remember the cost of this too. I think it may be 20 bucks, a whole bunch of them. You know, these are up bits. However, you can do a lot of uh, fine stuff that you need to do with that. But of course, with my router is a quarter inch router. So eighth inch will not fit in there without the collet adapter. So you, I got a set of six collets and these work really well. There will be a link again for these down in the description. And again, this was just a cost thing. This set cost as much as one quarter inch bit or something like that. And I had quite a few of them. So uh, that was a good way to go. One of the other things you're gonna need to get, obviously you're gonna have to have a tape measure. A set of calipers I would highly, highly recommend. And the reason is, you're going to grab a bit and you're going to, uh, what size is that? Is that really, you know, is that quarter inch or something like that? As you start getting a collection, you have different sizes. So calipers, you get a measurement of your, your, your bit and measure the thickness of your wood, which is really, really important. I actually set my machine up for three quarter inch once and the material was uh, five eighths. I cut into my into my spoil board because of that. So you want to get a decent set of calipers. I really like this set for a number of reasons. It, it's reasonably priced. It's 40 bucks. I want to say lower mid-range as far as price. It's an off-brand called Ace Meter. And this is supposed to be water resistant. And I like the really big readout on it. And it's repeatable. I've tested it. And you don't have to turn it off and on. It just uh, shuts off and as soon as you open it up it turns on by itself it does know where it's at so I'll put a link to this below as well I got this off of Amazon so to sum this up make sure you have a good set of hearing protection that and a tape measure you need a set of calipers and for the tools I recommend when you start off you get a facing tool a basic set of end mills that has kind of a nice generic mix of it so I'll put a link for that in you're gonna need a V bit if you're gonna just like hone it down get a 60 degree bit and then if you want to get the rounding bits that comes as a set right there and I also have a uh, 16th end mill so that I would recommend for really fine detail that actually cuts really nice makes some really uh, good stuff and then eighth inch if you uh, want to just like cut down your costs and stuff and get the little eighth inch end mills and the collets that will adapt to your router uh, one thing that I found you know when I was doing uh, some better router bit research this bits and bits company all their tools are carbide tools and their customer service was really good so I got the sign making CNC router kit but when I talked to them I really like their customer service. So I'm going to put a link down below to, I got this idea from another video from this other guy and he's got a discount code in his video. So I have copied his discount code into my description down here. So when you're, you're I don't know if it's a first time buy or every time buy, but uh, so he'll get the credit for it. There you have it. So everything that, you need to get started with a little bit more knowledge about why some things work, why some things don't. And again, remember, down below are the uh, links for everything. 
Amazon, other websites, discount codes when I could find them. And if you know of other resources or have other discount codes, please put them in your comments. Make a comment and put them in your comments. And what I'll do is I'll grab those links and I will put them into my description so that uh, everybody's got access to it. All right, this is Garrett. I hope this was helpful. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, turn me off for good, whatever you want to do. Happy CNC. I will talk to you next time.